Dang it. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my review of the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 60, Yuamu's Road. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this episode was actually pretty enjoyable, not gonna lie. Um, and I'm not just saying that because Yuamu's my favorite character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, but... I digress on that. We'll talk about why this episode was so good soon enough. So at risk of further rambling, let's move on to the actual episode. So the episode starts off with Yuamu and Earthdammer, and they end up going to a covert meeting with MIK defector Ran Ran, the former leader. And she basically reveals that she has that guy and uh, Yuhi's cards. And she tries passing them off to Yuamu, but Yuamu can't accept them. She's like, even though Yuhi is my brother, we're, I, I don't, it's not my right to take this card. Uh, so pretty much right here, we got confirmation that these two are in fact siblings. I know there were some Reddit posts and some fan boards that were saying, well, they're not really siblings, they're more like co-workers. And a few episodes ago, I get where they're coming from on that, but I mean, it was pretty obvious from the beginning that they were siblings, but I digress. That's proven in this episode. So anyway, Yuamu has decided that she is going to confront Phaser and she is going to defeat Phaser to rescue Yuhi and that guy, and this is her road. Um, she can't quite place it, but she knows that her and Yuhi have some kind of connection to that guy, aka Yuga but that's what they're calling him. Uh, and it becomes a little bit more clear what that connection is in just a little bit down the road. So anyway, Yuamu's got her mindset that she's going to go up against Phaser, but she's pretty much been under house arrest the whole time. Uh, her employees and UDS won't let her leave UTS, which is why she had to sneak out in the first place to catch up with Ran Ran. And of course, these guys all end up catching up with her, but if by that point, it's already that ship's already sailed. So anyway, we get into the meats and potatoes of the episode, which is Yuamu versus Phaser, and Yuamu does not have a maximum at this point. Udius has the maximum that they got from Yuga. Yuamu does not have it, but she's got a plan. And her plan is actually pretty impressive. First off, she uses her new fusion monster, uh, Red Boot, which is awesome in itself. I mean, I've really dig that card, and it's pretty much Red Boot Ultimate mode. But anyway, all that said, Yuamu uses that and a combination of cards to pretty much lock Phaser out of his maximum, and that at that point, he's wide open and she can burn him with effect damage. That's Yuamu's strategy, which on the surface is a pretty good strategy. But what she didn't count on was Phaser has ways to recycle his maximums, get them off the field, and bring out new maximums in their place. So he's a walking arsenal of maximum monsters. And it, Yuamu is taken aback by this. She wasn't counting on this. She thought he only had the one maximum. So now that he's got multiple, she's in trouble. <laughs> Even though Phaser's already lost more than half of his life points against Yuamu in less than two turns, yeah, Yuamu's really... SOL right at the moment. And that's pretty much where the episode leaves off. Um, but not before we get the ultimate uh, reveal from Phaser that he's going after everybody that has the name Odo, um, which is why he's basically carded Yuhi, he's carded Yuga, he's car gonna card Yuamu if he can. And it's pretty much because they all share the same name o Odo. We don't know what the whole line connecting all three of these guys is yet. But that's what we've gotten so far out of Phaser, and that's his own words, is he's basically had it with dealing with the Odos, and this is going to be the last time. So yeah, that's pretty much the episode. Like I said, this episode was pretty plot-heavy, Yuamu-heavy, which automatically makes it an A-tier episode, in my opinion. But overall, really, in all seriousness, have nothing really bad to say about the episode. It was pretty great, not going to lie. And uh, I'm a little worried for Yuamu right now. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. Overall, I give the episode an 8 out of 10. It was a pretty decent episode, to be honest with you. You and me aside. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. And as always, I want to hear yours. So in the comments section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh there? What are your thoughts? Just let me know in the comments section down below, because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone, as always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.